The Houthi terrorists operating out of Yemen are trained, supplied, and directed by Iran. And every week they're attacking shipping and Israel. What does General Michael Flynn think we ought to be doing about it? Here's your answer. The Houthis, who are a ragtag terror group that has taken over part of a country called Yemen, independently now of the country, are firing long and short range missiles and rockets, disrupting tremendous billions in shipping, and they're shooting at American vessels. Their pirates are out literally taking over ships. They're firing into Israel. If you were still national security advisor, what would you advise the president to do about the Houthis who we make noise about it, we make speeches about it, and they're accelerating, not slowing down. Yeah. Stop, stop uh, funding Iran. One of the things that, that uh, President Reagan did when there was a threat to naval forces in the Persian Gulf, uh, Reagan, I mean, in no uncertain terms, took action. And what did he do? He destroyed 50% of the Iranian Navy overnight, 50%. And so Iran had no Navy after an action taken by President Reagan, because Reagan said, we're done with this. Enough is enough. And it's kind of like the drug dealer on the street who's feeding the kids with, with, with drugs, right? You, you, you want to stop that. But, and that's sort, of, that's sort of the equivalent would be the Houthis. You want to stop their behavior of giving, of firing these, these, you know, shooting these drones over there, firing these missiles. But it's where, where are they getting, where's that drug dealer getting their, their drugs? They're getting it from Iran. And, and Iran is the source of all evil. So everything that, like, and what Trump did do is he stopped. He stopped the, the Iranian nuclear weapons deal. In, in, in fact, I was the one that got up in front of the very, very famous uh, statement that I made from the White House press room where I stood up and I said, you know, Iran, we're putting you on notice. And that's what has to happen again. And I mean, even now it's even beyond notice. It's you have to start really hurting them economically. And, and it's sad because there are great people in these countries, really, not, really great people in these countries, but it's the leadership and the people of these countries are going to have to figure out how to deal with their governments and it will require sacrifice. And will people, you know, what, you know, if people rise up against their their uh, their governments in places like Iran, it's happened before. I mean, there there is going to have to be a a reckoning with the Iranian leadership, and the only people that are going to do it is a really strong leader. And Trump's already proven how he was going to deal with them. Already proven it. That's how you stop the Houthis. Excellent policy differential between what we're experiencing right now, General. Yeah.